Hello. Kate Jones. I'm Kate, Kate Jones. Jones. And I've been coming since the very first gathering. I missed only a couple of years. I have personally met Martin Gardner, had the honor of being overnight at his house. And so the reason I'm even here is because of Martin. So that's a very important point. I make puzzles. For 37 years, I've been making puzzles that were inspired by something he wrote. And my showroom is upstairs. I'll put the ad in first. I do have all my puzzles upstairs for you to look at. They are beautiful. They're playable art. I go to a lot of art shows where I bring them to the general audiences, not to the mathematicians. So I'm doing the pioneer work out front for playable art that's based on math. So please see if you can find the depth of mathematics in what my work. So each year I have come to do a special little thing, uh, mostly in poetic form, mostly in philo philosophical form. And this year is not an exception. Several of you have been talking about Fibonacci numbers. So I thought I would give you a Fibonacci verse to tell you the whole story of pentominoes, which is the 12, and how it affected my life. So. Without further ado, I will figure out how to run this. OK. So the title is Twelveness, a Fibonacci verse about the 12 pentominoes. And you see the Fibonacci numbers tell you how many words are in each line. I have 12 lines of poetry, each of them containing the number of indicated words. OK, here we go. Martin Gardner, long ago, wrote about pentominoes, and my machine's not working. Brainchild of young Solomon Golong. It's not working, people. I should have rehearsed this, OK. The coolest rec math set in all the world. Right clicking doesn't work. How about if I click it here? All right. Soon, everybody played them. Gabriel made them. Even Arthur Clarke became their addict. It's in his book. Through a feat of fate, along came Kate and started a business because she could, founded on 12 pieces of wood. And this one set begat lots more combinatorial puzzles by the score as awards rolled in and ribbons flew and a beautiful mathematical product line grew, lovingly crafted, sold only in our traveling store. That's what my booth looks like when I travel around. Eye candy. As decades flowed by, the pence we'd named quintillions stood ever in first place, and their fans grew by the millions. Their shapes showed up in a whole parade of other creations that we made. And dear Martin Gardner, friend and mentor, let us produce the two games of which he was the inventor. Polyominoes are everywhere. Just take a look around. On floors and walls, on every web page, as pixels they are found. From the singularity to infinity, particles join in ever more fanciful arrays. Like elements in galaxies, where energy with space-time plays. Then living beings happened along from single cells to the giant whale, and played with variations, inventiveness at every scale. I've showed 12 of them, just for the fun of it. And somewhere in the middle are these humans on a planet blue. They have minds that play with puzzles, math, and the magic they can do. You recognize anybody up there? Yeah. 
Wrapping up the last line with a 12 times 12 word string, I counted them with care. Here is the list of all our games where you'll find pentominoes demand their share. How much time? Then I'm not going to read you all the names of all the games. You can look at them and come up and see them upstairs. But the number of words will add up to where I should be. In all these games, there are pentomino shapes that are show up and, and are formed and so on. Void and warp 30. So thank you, Saul, for what you started. And thank you, Martin, for what you imparted. And thank you, world, for what you hearted. <laughs>